ripping it out that type of thing. I think that's a little more challenging. So you might practice it. Like you practice punch. Like how do you do that? Like, uh, I mean, it just comes with uh, practice. Like walkers come to you, get a punch at the football. More of that than uh, like fitting them up. Um, but I, th there is a time and a place to fit someone up, and there's a time to like, like goal line stand type thing. You don't necessarily want to be punching the football if they're like about to like, on the inch yard line and like different third down, third and short things. So it's just also being aware of the situation. Do you watch anybody? Um. Yeah. Well, like I try and uh, so like if a running back is fumbled, like has no been known to fumble, or I try to wa find the tapes of. Uh, Find the plays of where they fumbled and where how they struggled with that, so like ball security and things like that. And that, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a huge knock against Jonathan Taylor, but that's one of the things that, he, that has come up sometimes for him. What did he show? What did you see? Um, he, I mean, just it's like a lot. It's not like any one specific player, but a lot of players are like a little bit loose with the ball, like a lot of great running backs are. But um, if you're able to take advantage of that. How do you balance wrapping up and tackling? I know the one way that he's Michigan here. Yeah, he did. How do you balance that? Uh, or how do you know when to do that in the I mean, middle of the game? In my defense, hard, right? I did get hit by Stanley Green. <laughs> no, but I need to make that play regardless. Um, it, uh, I mean, it comes with some risk, but I think the reward of most of the time will get the uh, outweighs the risk. Is this something you've just picked up since again? Love you guys here? Uh, yeah, like I, 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 I definitely have not always been about the ball. Um, even especially last year, I, haven't, I didn't really like take on that mindset fully. Um, but. Coach Smith has done a great job with all of us too. So. Are you shocked by the number and where, where it ranks and where in yeah, history? It's, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's like I'm trying not to focus on that as much as trying to focus on every week, trying to just each week produce something like that. So. It seems like you guys have also recovered a lot of the fumbles that you guys have forced. I don't yeah. know a specific number, but are you guys conditioned, you know, just to be looking for the ball to spill out on the ground like that? Yeah. Um, yeah, we always try and uh, um, we always pretty scoop and score. It's uh, try to avoid as much uh, like falling on it. But I mean, obviously, if you're like around other people and you're in a pile, then you want to fall on it. But the main thing is uh, scooping and score. So you mentioned maybe not having this all of the same mindset last year. Was it as a conscious decision on your part, I don't know, like the spring, or when did you maybe make that a focus? You know, trying to well, get the ball out. I think uh, I think. The coaches did a great job of, like, like I kind of didn't understand how important, like, it actually is until, like, um, honestly, like I, like, I didn't understand how important, like, until you get, like, start getting them, it show like, it, it shows up and it's able to change the game. And, like, it's the biggest type of play you can make on defense. So if that is the way you can impact the game the most, then... Not necessarily like force fumbles, but like any type of turnover in in, uh, in that. So that that will that can change the game. That's the quickest way you can change the game in uh, on defense, I believe.